Well, hello and welcome. And I'd like to start our time together in prayer. Dear Lord, as we welcome all of our young people to our school at St. Peter's, we give thanks for all the gifts and talents of our year six students as they continue their journey onto the next stage of their education. We give thanks, Lord, for your light in their lives and for all the strengths and challenges that they will have and that they will face. And we give thanks for our own school community for the support that they will give them in the future. And we ask all this in your name, Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, hello there and welcome. My name's Toby Miller, and I'm the head teacher at St. Peter's Catholic School here in Guildford. I'm immensely proud to be the head teacher at St. Peter's, and I welcome you to this event. So this film, my talk, and the resources you will see on our school website should allow you to make the decision about whether you really feel that St. Peter's is the best school for you to attend and for your parents to support you at. We welcome you to each and every part of this event. So I'm not going to talk about our curriculum, our resources and our facilities. That will be covered on the website and in the other videos that you see. I'm going to talk to you about our ethos, what you can expect if you attend our school, how you will be supported and how it will make you feel by attending our school. So St Peter's Catholic School, we have around 1,300 students at the school and it's about 70 years old. We are named after St Peter and we have our own set of rocks and values. To be resilient, respectful, responsible, resolute, reflective and to realise your potential. We are consider that we are always on a journey of getting better never stops and we are a completely comprehensive Catholic school. So what do we want for our young people? We're se essentially, we want them to be happy. We want to be, them to be happy to make every single lesson count, happy to make every opportunity count, happy to work and study in a caring environment. But we don't just want them to be happy for the seven years they're at St. Peter's. We want them to be happy in five years, 10 years time, 25 years time, in part because of the experience they've had while they were at St. Peter's. So we have three main aims. The first is to live good Christian lives. Our mission statement is to be Christ to all. The second is to make a positive contribution to society. We are all called to serve. And the third is to get the best possible exam results. Short-term happiness will lead to long-term happiness. And that's through the choices that students are given through the exam results that they achieve. Our exam results are consistently amongst the best in Guildford, both at GCSE and A-level. We consistently perform in the top five schools in Surrey for state schools, and we consistently perform in the top 200 schools nationally out of a total of about 6,300 schools. So our young people have great opportunities here, but what are we actually preparing them for? We're preparing them for a world that they don't know exists yet. We're preparing them to solve problems that we don't know are actually problems yet. And we have a huge responsibility to help them prepare. The key word is going to be adaptability. And in their lifetimes, they're going to have several careers. And the foundations that they build through the seven years they spend while at St. Peter's are crucial to those rocks which underpin everything they, they will do in the future. As you know, we are a Catholic school and I believe that faith is one of the missing pieces of the jigsaw of society. Not just a spiritual faith, but a faith in one's own talents, a faith in those around you, a faith in the love of others, and a faith in that those around you will support you to be the very best person that you can. It underpins everything that we do at our school here at St. Peter's. Young people have the opportunity to reflect to think, to pause, to say thanks for everything that they have, to say thank you for those around them, and just to have time to pause and reflect. How often in our busy lives do we have time to do that? To pause, to reflect, and to think. That is something that is unique about the Catholic ethos at our school. We give students the opportunity to do that. It enables them to be happier, to be more motivated, and that will have an impact on the outcomes for their schooling. Our greatest resource here at St. Peter's is our staff. 
We have about 120 staff here, all with the same goal. And that goal is to enrich the lives of the young people who we work with and to make sure that they get the very best deal in their education every single day. We employ the very, very best teachers that we can possibly find. It's so important and it's a significant part of my job to make sure that the right people, the right experts are in front of your children every single day. We work hard, we challenge our staff and we ensure that they are always on a journey of improvement as well. We don't stand for inadequate teaching and we act where necessary to make sure changes are put in place. Our staff are our greatest resource and if your child comes to St Peter's they will benefit from experts every single day in front of them. We are blessed with your most amazing students here at St Peter's. We give thanks for the time that we, are, we can spend with them and we give thanks for the opportunity to enrich their lives. They work hard, they behave well, they do everything that's required of them to get the very best outcomes that they possibly can and enjoy their time at St Peter's. They challenge us, but we challenge them to ensure that every single stage they have the very best possible experience. We have really high expectations of our students. We make sure every single lesson counts. We have excellent systems and we keep things really, really tight. This little bit is especially for the young people that are watching. It's all about opportunities. And if you choose to come to St Peter's, you'll have a tremendous number of opportunities. But we ask you to be brave. We ask you to take those opportunities, make every lesson count, make every homework count, and make every opportunity count. You will be loved, you will be cared for, and you will be looked after. You will, we will ask you to work hard, you must do your homework, you must behave well, and you must have respect for other students and those around you. If we don't do these things, then we have something that your parents have as well, which is called tough love, and we make you do them, but in the nicest possible way. When you come to St Peter's, you will be looked after. You won't feel isolated, you won't feel alone. And the best thing is, you'll be with 209 other students doing exactly the same thing. You'll go through the same process, you'll go through the same lessons, you'll spend time together, and you will not feel alone. So please don't worry about those things. So to our parents that come to our school, this is a three-way partnership. The school, our parents, and our young people. And we have really high expectations of that partnership. It's really, really important that we work together for the benefit of your child. It will not work if we're not working together. So we have really high expectations of, for example, the fact that you will attend parents' evenings. For us, they're compulsory. Events at school are very few where we will actually ask you to come into school, be it face-to-face -face or virtually, but they're absolutely essential. We ask you that you support your child doing their homework. We ask you that you support your child, making sure that they come to school absolutely pristine every single day so it doesn't cause issues when they're here. We ask you that you still st send them into school, even if they've got a bit of a sniffle. We ask you to never take them out of school during term time for things like holidays and we have those expectations consistently for the seven years while your child is with us. That relationship is absolutely key. The partnership is fundamental to your child's success. Our expectation is that you will spend time with your child, talking about school, finding out about what they did during their day, asking them questions, having a conversation, hearing them read. All of those things should continue. You must support your child to leave, lead a healthy lifestyle. Have enough rest, have enough food, have enough sleep. Those things are really, really important. We only see your children for 15% of the year. You are the primary educators of your child. And that should not be forgotten as we go into secondary school education. We must see this as a five or seven year journey where the priority is your child's education, both for school life but also for family life too. Rest assured, we want the same thing as you, which is your child to be happy, motivated, and have a great school experience. But if we make sure the message comes across now, you know the messages that your child is gonna receive when they start with us in September. So in summary, 
You can expect the best possible teaching we can provide. You can expect to be loved. You can expect to be treated with dignity and respect. And you can expect to feel special. You can expect to get the best possible exam results. You can expect to have fun. You can expect to have courage and confidence. And you can expect to have hope for the future. The symbolism of St Peter starting life as a fisherman and going on to be a key disciple and leader in Jesus' kingdom is not lost on us. And we are acutely aware that no child's future should be defined by their circumstances. So thank you for listening. Enjoy exploring the rest of the videos on our website and I look forward to meeting you soon. God bless.